new pals Kate Middleton and Joe Biden could have talked for hours after meeting at G7. The Duchess and First Lady were pictured together in Hale, West Cornwall ahead of the G7 summit this weekend. Jill, mum to Ashley Biden and stepsons Beau and Hunter, discussed the importance of early childhood, with Kate, mum of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Writing on Twitter, Flotus described how she and the Duchess, 39, could have kept going for hours after meeting. The 70-year-old topped it off with two love heart emojis. Dr. Biden wrote, Thank you for having me today to talk about an issue we both care deeply about, and one that is critical to the future of both our countries. She retweeted a post on the Kensington Royal account, on which Kate wrote, Welcome to the UK. First Lady, it was great to host Dr. Jill Biden and experts from the UK and the United States for a discussion on the importance of early childhood on lifelong outcomes, on the first day of the G7 summit. Kate and Dr. Biden also joined a class reading of a Greta Thunberg-inspired book at Connor Downs Academy in Hale. They were greeted by silence among pupils, with Dr. Biden joking the children were scared to death. Kate also remarked it was the quietest class she had ever visited. When asked by reporters about early age education, Dr. Biden said, it's very important. It's the foundation of everything. So I can tell you as a teacher at the upper levels, if they don't have a good foundation they fall so far behind. So this is amazing to see what these children are doing, and how far advanced they are at four and five years old. Last year, Kate made a speech revealing the findings from her five big questions survey, in collaboration with the Royal Foundation. The survey found 70% of parents in the UK say they feel judged by others and parents have reported a big increase in loneliness throughout the pandemic. She said at the time, I have seen that experiences such as homelessness, addiction, and poor mental health are often grounded in a difficult childhood. But I have also seen, how positive protective factors in the early years can play a crucial role in shaping our futures. The early years are not simply about how we raise our children. They are in fact about how we raise the next generation of adults. They are about the society we will become. 